Welcome to another Barker Gaming Commentary video. In this video, it's going to be a mainly an AMD new show. AMD has finally launched its AMD Fidelity FX, which is AMD's answers to DLS to DLSS by NVIDIA. So, what are my views on reading and listening to all the um, day one Fidelity FX um, reviews? That it's a pretty good review. My, my most reviewers for its first time outing. And it's able to compete with DLSS. But this also shows how NVIDIA is really for, well, shit. As NVIDIA has made a professional compute architecture and then they last minute be like, Quick, 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 we need to make something for the gamers. Alright, let's invent RTX and DLSS. And then we claim that we have in invented the world's first ray tracing capable graphics card for the consumer. But as AMD clearly showed, this thing works all the way as AMD has validated this all the way from the AMD RX 480 day, 480 to all the current card and in NVIDIA's case all the way back to 1060s to any other newer card but is it all sunshine and rainbow? No some of the um, the reviewers have kind of all universally agreed that it requires more improvements on the performance and the balance mode as well as the you know the low resolution uh, low resolution upscaling like 1080 and maybe 1440p where the original upscaling um the original image that they're upscaling from is still lacking quite a lot of detail and whatever other than that, I really haven't seen any, you know, other comp reviewers complaining about AMD Fidelity FX. Another thing AMD has shown off quietly again is the Samsung and AMD collab for the new Exynos SoC from the articles I have read. That it was on a test device and the test device always ended up thermal throttling. But what's the good thing is it brings ray tracing and uh, fidelity FX technology onto a mobile phone. Cool. But yeah, I am I'm not surprised that the Samsung SOC thermal throttled in the device as well. Samsung devices from my personal experience and from the people I know that run the Samsung they all complain they all end up universally telling me yeah our, our Samsung devices all thermal throttle like hell all right so basically what I what's my conclusion of this is this is hopefully an early engineering palm they when they launch this thing, they figure out how to cool this thing properly, and yeah, and hopefully it maybe it will become a good gaming phone contender. And lastly, the RX six thousand six hundred series card is spotted in an EEC registration. And from the registration, from what I can see, it is it's an eight gigabyte VRAM buffer car from from the product SKU. But what do I think it's going to be similar to the RX 6600M that AMD has launched for their mobile lineup? Since this is going to be a desktop car, most likely it will have higher TDP than the laptop counterpart. But anything else, I didn't really see anything else. Yeah, I think that's all for the AMD News sec episode. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.